Hello everyone and welcome to my screencast on the Web 2.0 tool SlideShare. SlideShare is an online application that allows you to upload, view, and download documents such as PDFs and PowerPoints on any topic or subject. People can create presentations on many platforms and share them publicly or create private presentations for a closed group. What I like about SlideShare is that it is easy to upload presentations and embed them into websites and blogs. As a teacher, this allows us to supplement our lessons with online resources for students to access outside of the classroom. It also allows us to search for topics and use other people's slideshows in our daily instruction. With that being said, let's get started. First, let's go to slideshare.net and set up a free user account. I already have an account, so I will just use that. Next, we are going to upload a PowerPoint presentation onto SlideShare by clicking the Upload button. I'm going to use a PowerPoint I created for my chorus vocabulary. Once you've uploaded your presentation, you can add a title and add a description. You can choose to make your slide public for all to see. I'm gonna choose a category, education, and keep my slide public. Then hit save and continue. Now that you've created your upload, you can embed your slide to most websites or blogs by simply selecting the embed icon, copying the code and pasting it into whatever site you choose. I will first view my slideshow by clicking view to make sure it looks good before embedding it. As you can see, everything looks good to go. Since I have a WordPress account, I would like to embed my slideshow onto my blog. I will find the WordPress icon on the left hand side. I will click on it and choose my options. I want to make it a little smaller to fit my blog. Then I will use the WordPress code at the bottom. You can also embed your blog on the many other platforms over here by clicking on their icons or simply copy and pasting the code. Next, I will go over to my WordPress blog. I already have it at the top of the page. And insert the code right into the text of my post. It, pop, it pops right up for all to view. This slide will provide students with a supplementary guide to go home and study with before our midterm exam. It will also serve as a resource for students who might have been absent from class that week and need the information. Not only that, but because SlideShare credits me to my presentation, other educators around the world can view and use my slide ethically for their own classroom needs. As you can see, this is a great Web 2.0 tool for building a community of learners and educators through shared experiences and expertise. Now, I would like to show how teachers can search through other people's slides to find resources for their own professional development or classroom use. I will go back to the SlideShare page. I can either search specific subjects, such as music,
where many slides will pop up. Or I can go back to the SlideShare page and scroll through the featured slides on the home page. You can click on any slide, view it, and embed it onto a blog or website using the steps above. Thank you for watching my presentation, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them on my WordPress blog where you will find this screencast and the featured slideshow.